coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Happening today, the Vigo County Health Department will offer another COVID-19 vaccination clinic. Warren Village will host a vaccine question and answer session beginning at 10 a.m. and then the vaccine clinic will follow. Warren Village is found at 1300 North 25th Street in Terre Haute. The West Terre Haute IGA will host another clinic tomorrow. This is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. One last effort to save a local elementary school is underway in Vigo County. We told you last month the Vigo County School Board voted to repurpose the school in a 5-2 to two vote. Now, board member Joni Wise says she'll formally rescind that decision at the next meeting. The repurposing is part of the district's ongoing consolidation plans. The public is welcome to attend that next board meeting to learn more. It'll be Monday, February 28th at the Vigo County School Corporation Administration Building. Rose Holman Institute of Technology is expanding its homework hotline hours. The hotline will now offer help to students from 3 until 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday. You can call their number and get help with math and science. The current nighttime hours will still be in place, and of course, those are 7 to 10 p.m. The number is 877-ASK-ROSE. The historic Pimento School Building in Vigo County has been torn down. Commissioner Brendan Kearns posted this video on his Facebook page. It shows the final moments of the old Pimento School. The old structure caught fire early Monday. Kearns says thanks to operators at S&G, they were able to save the cornerstone from the building. Most everything else was destroyed. They will likely display the cornerstone at the Vigo County Historical Society and Museum in the near future. A $14.5 million housing project is planned for Davies County. The project will create 144 new apartment units if approved. You're looking at a rendering of what the project could look like. The project includes six buildings on the east side of Washington, Indiana. The Redevelopment Commission recommended the plans that now go before the City Council for final consideration. We're going to be in the lower 40s today. Temperatures are going to be largely similar this afternoon to what they were yesterday. Maybe less comfortable for you. We're going to see more clouds as we move through the day compared to yesterday. Anyway, tonight in the mid 20s, isolated showers, a possibility. Nothing substantial, though. And they're going to be very short lived. And then by the end of the night tonight, early morning tomorrow, dry conditions. Now we're partly sunny again tomorrow. Temperature is going to be a lower spot. We're in the mid 30s after a cool start with winds out of the northwest this time up to 20 miles an hour. Now you can see on our seven day forecast temperatures are going to bounce back immediately into the upper 40s with a widespread chance of rain. So snow is melting right now. It's going to continue to do that this afternoon. Tonight cools down mid 20s below freezing. Thursday in the afternoon, we're back in the mid 30s. Whatever has not melted will continue Thursday, and then we're going to see a little bit of a mess on Friday with a widespread chance of rain and temperatures way above freezing. So watch for muddy conditions. If you have to do any outdoor work, any chores you've been putting off in your yard, watch for the mud because it is going to be very messy. All right, Brady, thank you.